you know, because as soon as you mention country music, they immediately think, yee-haw, um, straw in the ears. People have this, this preconception about what country music is all about. And in this country, it's been to our detriment, you know, because as soon as you mention country music, they immediately think, yee-haw, um, straw in the ears, songs about dead dogs, people being run over by a train, that sort of thing. It isn't like that anymore. You know, you've got to wake up. This is the 90s. The emotion is still exactly the same. It's just the music. We are responsible. Youngsters like myself who are involved in, in this new country scene are responsible for bringing our music into the 90s. We can't keep it at club level. It's something that I think you have to feel very passionate about, and I do. And I believe in this music. And I believe in the infusion of, of the little bits that are coming out of Nashville. And bearing in mind that the Americans, that their heritage is George Jones and Tammy Wynette and Patsy Cline and things like that. Our heritage, is, or people my age, is like the Stones, the Beatles, all that sort of stuff. So you infuse the two. And I think you've got a very, very exciting sound of music. Key songs, um, key writers, key performers who have influenced me um, from a very, very early age. Songs that trigger the memory even now, you know. Things like um, For the Good Times, written by Chris Christopherson. Um, Cold Cold Heart, Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain, written by Hank Williams. Um, stuff that Patsy Cline recorded, you know, Crazy, written by Willie Nelson. Right up to Jealous Guy, written by John Lennon. Dreaming of the past And my heart was beating fast I began to lose control I began to lose control I was trying to 
very lucky that I've been able to work with, uh, with an awful lot of really, really um, great artists um, in a relatively short space of time, I suppose, and I've learned a tremendous amount from all of them for, for very different reasons. And to name a few of the highlights, I suppose Eric Clapton would be one of the biggest. Um, and it, it struck me what a, a quiet man he is, you know, um, I mean, he's quite tall and lean and master of, of what he does but as a person he's very uh, very subdued you know um, but lovely I mean he was just wonderful um, and, and very uh, very infused for you you know he really gave you an awful lot of encouragement um, I mean I was dreading it was the first support slot I'd ever done to anybody when when I supported him in Ireland and I was so nervous. I mean, walking out in front of 10,500 Eric Clapton fans, and I'd been at shows where I'd seen support bands absolutely slaughtered by the crowd who wanted the main act to come on. And, uh, and the crowd was superb. They really were. And I was fine. I was doing really, really well.